Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer Two Four Seven. I have a Mac tutorial today on how to sub how to set up dual displays with your iMac, MacBook, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini. So first, here are the things you will need. You will need either one or two things. You're either you need a mini DVI to VGA. That's what I have right here. This is the VGA cable. Or a mini DVI to DVI, which replaces this VGA cable with a DVI cable. Or you could need a mini display port that takes away this DV mini DVI to VGI or DVI. So either two will be your choice. Also, going to need to talk about the moving camera fit. It goes up a little fast. A external monitor. Any VGA monitor will work with this. All you need is this little adapter. So, as you can see, I got that right there. So, yeah, guys. Um, R and Tomato hooked this up. I have to turn my Mac around to show you guys the ports and stuff like that. Because the port for the this focus, there we go, um, is on the um, back of my Mac. So, I have to go um, turn my Mac around. So, I'll cut camera and then turn it back on. Alright guys, this is the back of my Mac. As you can see, it has all the ports and stuff on it, all the cables running through. I'm um, sorry if you can't see all the cables, but I'll, um, I'll point each one out. So, first two. Headphone jack, mic jack, USB 1, 2, 3. So you can see I got my keyboard and my printers in there. Uh, FireWire 400, FireWire 800, uh, Ethernet, and right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is either a mini DVI or a mini display port. Now, either DVI and VJ will register, st register the same way, the same way as the other one. So, I'm going to show you how to set this up. You take your uh, whatever end you have, and you just take it and put it into that port. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see since I got. Okay, sorry about the camera moving a little bit, guys. But as you can see, my cable is in there. As you can see, I got the uh, VGA cable, too. So let me um, turn my Mac around and then um, use ScreenFlow to um, show you guys how to set it up properly. Alright, after you've got your display set up, here's what you want to do. You want to go to the Apple... Um, toolbar at the top of your screen and hit the app logo. Click on that. Then hit about this Mac. Click on that. Then hit, and then you'll get this to pop up. It tells you your version, what Mac OS X, your processor, memory, and your hard drive. And you want to hit the button, uh, more info at the bottom. This will pop up. On this side, you want to go to graphics and displays. This will tell you your, graf your graphics card, the ATI Radeon HD 2400 XT. And it tells you uh, the chipset and stuff like that. And it says iMac here. And it tells you all the um, resolution and other stuff. And here's your other monitor, your FPD 1730. Or other, monitor, or other monitor you have hooked up. So make sure that's all correct and make sure it's online and working properly. So then, uh, close out of that. So then what you want to do is that you want to go to, uh, System Preferences. You want to hit Displays. And then two of these will pop up, one on each display. This will be for the iMac, and the other one will be for your main display. And if you don't, and if your displays don't hook up properly, hit the Tech Displays, and it will attack the displays. Hit the, on the on the resolution part, there will be three tabs, display, arrangement, and color. Hit arrangement. This will be my iMac here. My other monitor, which should be down there. And then you want to go, if it's on your right side, drag it on your right side, but mine's on my left, so I'm going to keep it on my left. And then if you want to mirror the images, hit the, hit the check mark. Now say your display is a lot better, a lot bigger than your iMac display or whatever you have. Drag and drop the toolbar on the other display and it should 
take your dock and your icons to the second display. Let me just drag it back over. So that should be done. And when you're done, on my mouse, there it is. I hit close out of it and then you're done. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like my videos and I'll see you guys later.